What's going on everybody? In today, nagbabalik na naman tayo sa panibagong video. And in today's video guys, I will be telling you guys what to expect on your first day as a mechanic. If you finally found that employer or you found that job already, uh, congrats by the way, I will be telling you guys the things that I wish somebody has told me on my first day. And stick around to the end of the video guys because I will tell you how to win a $150 gift card. So you guys have to stick around till the end para malaman nyo kung paano ba manalo ng $150 gift card. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Now my first advice goes out to those backyard mechanics, driveway mechanics, or garage mechanics. And the advice that I have for you guys is all the information that you gathered up fixing cars in your driveway or backyard, put it all in your back pocket. Or at least for your first few days or first few weeks in the job. Now there are a number of reasons why I want you guys to do this. Number one, I want you guys to soak up as much information as you can on your first few days of work. Now that being said, if you walk in there like you know it all, you will shut out all the new information that you could possibly be soaking in. Gusto ko mag-transform kayo guys into like a sponge. I want you guys to soak up as much information as you can. Plus if you walk in there like you know it all or parang kaya mong gawin lahat ng pinapagawa nila sa'yo, you will just look like a show-off or a know-it-all and no one's gonna want to work with you. I wouldn't want to work with you. So walk in there very, very humble. I mean, you're literally at the bottom of the food chain. Now you might think you've done a ton of like oil changes or tire rotation, but trust me guys, yung mga makakatrabaho nyo dyan sa shop nyo has been in this trade for almost 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years. So they've seen a plethora of variety of vehicles. Kaya yung experience mo fixing your own vehicle or your family's vehicle can even compare to the amount that na parang nagawa na nila. Plus, if you walk in there really, really humble, you can ask a ton of questions. And I'll get to that in a second. But here's the thing. Pag nilagay mo information na yon in your back pocket, you know, I'm not telling you guys to just disregard it or forget everything that you know about vehicles. I'm telling you guys, take those information that you already know or yung nilagay mo sa back pocket mo after you have been given the green light to do your own oil changes in the shop na parang your foreman is confident with you doing your thing. So that means, you know, you added new information on top of the information that you already know. And that's really what you want. I mean, you're in this job, your first day of work, you want to soak up as much experience, as much, you know, knowledge. And knowledge is power, guys. Knowledge is key. The second advice I have for you guys is ask a lot of questions. And this is for obvious reasons, but I'm gonna give you guys the main reason. If you guys are an apprentice, you are under a journeyman. That being said, everything that you do, all the jobs that you do reflect on that journeyman. Ganito lang yan eh. If you make a mistake, it's basically reflecting on that journeyman. For example, on your first day, you do a tire rotation and you torque the wheels incorrectly and your journeyman didn't check it. The customer takes it home, he, she, they drive it, they lose a wheel on the highway. It goes back to you. Not only do you lose your job potentially, but the journeyman can lose his license as well. Kaya guys, it's just a professional courtesy na parang, especially to your journeyman, na ask a lot of questions. Even if you think you've done things correctly, it's also a good habit to just have them check it. I've done this a thousand times, guys, na I've torqued everything correctly, I followed the procedure and how to do a job correctly and properly and efficiently. You know, I call a journeyman over to just briefly just go over what I did and they're gonna be there for like a minute, two minutes and they're gonna say, okay, everything looks good, take it for a test drive and bam, you're good. You're out of the blue, you know, at least a journeyman checked it and you know you've done a good job. I am telling you guys to take advantage of this apprenticeship card that you guys have now. Ask a lot of questions. Ask a ton of questions. Even if they seem so stupid, basta magtanong ka na lang, it will help you in the long run to make sure that you're doing things properly. Now the third thing that I want to tell you guys is not really an advice, it's more like what to expect when you get in there for the first time or for your first day. Now if you're a first year apprentice, you're gonna be doing a lot of oil changes, mountain balance tires, uh, tire road rotations, tire repairs, and all that good stuff. You're gonna be learning how to use the tire machine. Hint, hint, I'm also gonna be doing a video on that. You're gonna learn how to use the tire balance machine. You're gonna learn how to use all of the things that's in your shop and they're gonna teach you how to do it safely and correctly. Now for your first week or two, it's just gonna be a ton of information to take in. You're gonna see a ton of vehicles come in, depending on your shop. If you're working for a specific brand or dealership then you're gonna see the same thing over and over but if you're gonna work in a shop like mine you're gonna see you know a ton of vehicles a variety of vehicles you're gonna see 
different brands, different manufacturers, and all that good stuff. And one more thing to expect, if you are the new guy, the first year apprentice, the grunt, the peasant, bottom of the food chain, you guys are gonna be doing all the dirty work that the journeyman doesn't want to do. So that means emptying out garbage bins, emptying out oil bins, oil filter bins, scrap metal bins, everything like the dirty chores around the shop, inside the shop, you will be doing because you are the grunt. And it's not even that bad. I'm just trying to explain to you guys that you guys might need a shower every single day after work because you guys are not gonna come home clean ever. You're always gonna have grease all over your arms, your face, everywhere. And the fourth advice that I wanna give you guys is find your rhythm. The faster you find your rhythm while working, the better you are off with your career. I'll show you guys an example. So tuturuan ko kayo kung ano yung ginagawa ko to give your um, rhythm a kickstart. Baka magulit ka sa kayo, oh we're doing a 49 point inspection every time we're doing an oil change. So don't worry guys, it's actually pretty simple. It's not that hard. So first things first, when I'm inside the car or kung kakapasok ko lang sa shop, the first thing I do is I get the guy behind me to check my brakes and backups. That means to check yung brake lights and the reverse lights. And then after that, I uh, go out of the car. I still have the lights on so I can check the marker lights and stuff. And I turn the turn signals left and then right. And then after that, I turn off the, the lights and then I pop the hood open. So here we are in the so underneath the hood. Um, so first thing that I do underneath the hood, I check the air filter. Because sometimes, guys, an air filter is like this. It's in an air box that you have to open up. You know, this is easy because it's just two clips. But sometimes, merong mga air box na nakascrew in. Merong kailangan tanggalin na plastic above the air box so you can get to the air box. So I do the air box first because that takes the longest time. And then after that, I move to the coolant. Because sa shop namin, um, it is required from us na i-check yung strength ng coolant so we open this up and hindi ko dala yung hydrometer ko dito pero you stick something in there a tool in there and then you suck up some of the coolant and then you have to make sure that it's good for minus 40 and then other than that it's about checking everything else on the list at least everything that's underneath the hood so it comes to the belt comes to all the fluids that is all easy um kaya hinuhuli ko yan kasi sobrang dali niya lang gawin you know compared to the air box and the coolant because now you can just kind of check where the fluid is at that's the brake fluid ito yung uh, power steering fluid and then yeah after that you check kung meron dipstick yung transmission and then you check if the battery are still connected and has a tight connection right here wala siyang corrosion and after that you can lift up the hoist now we move on to the stuff underneath the car um wala ko di wala kong hoist ngayon no so i can really show you guys what i mean by this but as soon as you get it up on the hoist properly and securely no um if you're say if you're working on a truck you have to work from the front differential transfer case and then the rear diff pagkatapos nun, after you check all that, I check for leaks. I check for leaks around the engine, around the transmission, around the T-case, the differentials and all that stuff. Everything that you think has fluid in it, you gotta mark down if it's leaking, if it's wet, if it's dripping, if it's sweating, anything like that, you have to mark it down. And after that, kung merong major leaks or anything like that, I need to point it out to the people up front so they can talk to the customer if they want to fix it. But if they don't wanna fix anything right now with their vehicle, with the leaks and stuff, they're gonna just monitor it. It, then you can drain the oil. The rhythm na to is not just about oil changes, it's about you know if you're mounting and balancing tires, even if you're doing brake jobs. Um, pagka meron ko na talagang rhythm kung paano mo sisiwalan at paano matatapusin yung trabaho, it just makes the job a lot more easier. That's why this is my advice for you guys is just find your rhythm, you know, as soon as you get in there, look at the checklist, okay, this is what I gotta do, this is what I gotta check first, and there you go. So as you can see, hindi naman siya ganun kahirap gawin, di ba? To find your own rhythm. And you can find your own depending on what you have to do in your shop. Now let's move on to my fifth advice and my final advice to you guys. And that is, have fun. Now I know this job gives you a lot of security and benefits and all that good stuff. But if you share the same passion as me with cars and love of cars, you would appreciate every single day when you're working. And one more thing, if you're not into cars, diagnosing something 
that is wrong with a vehicle and fixing it is the most satisfying thing in the world. No part of having fun with this work is, you know, make mistakes. You guys are bound to make mistakes and it's just inevitable. So mistakes are bound to happen and you should be a little bit proud that you did make a mistake because from that mistake, you're gonna learn from that mistake and know what you did wrong so you won't do it again. So embrace your failures in this job because it's gonna happen. So yeah, no, guys, we have reached the end of this video and now, sasabihin ko sa inyo kung paano kayo pwedeng manalo ng $150 gift card. Sobrang dali lang momentum dito sa giveaway na to, guys. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell and follow my Instagram page. So yun lang ang kailangan yung gawin, no? Um, kailangan nyo lang mag-subscribe at kailangan nyo lang follow yung Instagram ko and I will choose a winner by the end of the month. Anyways guys, dito na nagtatapos ang video natin. Maraming maraming salamat sa panonood nyo. Don't forget to drop a like down below and share this video to everyone that you know. I hope you guys have a blessed day and you remember to keep praying and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.